Dr. Natoli of Functional Spine and Sport. This is our third video on why you can have hip pain. In our first video, we talked about overuse injuries to the soft tissues that develops adhesion, and adhesion in the soft tissues makes your muscles less flexible and weaker, and that can lead to hip pain. Secondary to that, if you have enough adhesion in there it's long, and it's been there long enough, it can develop into osteoarthritis, cartilage or labrum defects, and that can cause pain as well. And the third component we're gonna cover is called femoral acetabular impingement. That's a fancy word, so what we're gonna do is just abbreviate this. It's F-A-I. And basically what this means is that it's a malformation or a different shape of the hip joint that can also cause damage. Because like we talked about before, this hip socket this, this, this puzzle piece has to fit just right in order for it not to get damaged and it has to move really well. So when you have FAI or the hip shape change, that changes that puzzle piece so it really doesn't want to fit. And when it gets jammed around in there, it can actually create pain. So one of the ways you can get this is on the ball part or the femur part is that you'll actually get extra bone that grows here. So this is extra bone that can grow on the, the femur part of the ball part. And you can imagine if this is rotating up, this is gonna hit the top of that. That's bad news. The other thing you can get is extra bone on the socket part. And so you see how the labrum that was in green, the cartilage is now gone. That's kind of what happens. It's like taking a knife and slowly scraping the icing off of the cake until you're down to the cake itself. Like, what happened to my icing? What happened to my labrum? It's gone. And that's bad. That can really just rip away at the, at the, at the bone and the cartilage itself. So a couple of ways you can get this is kind of twofold. One, you can actually be born with a hip joint that's a different shape. In that case, it's important to know about that as soon as possible. So if you've had hip pain from a very early age, you need to have the imaging done that's appropriate to, to identify that, and the doctor has to specify what to look for. The other way you can get this is specializing in youth sports. So doing the same sport year-round as a youngster can create this. You can develop this. This is a big deal. And the, the other way that's very common to that is if you've had that as a youngster or maybe you have been born with something similar to that but in a smaller sense and then you're doing the same sport and as an adult, that can actually show up later in life and progress that and speed that up as well. So we hope you found this video useful. It's a lot of information. It's a very complex issue that it isn't talked about much in the medical community. So if you have questions, please reach out to us, comment on the video itself, email us, call us. But this is a very important topic that we want all of our population to know about. And we hope you found it helpful. And thanks for watching.